The next partnership recognition is uh, going to be presented by our Director of Safety and Security, Mr. John Gates, about Drive Smart Weld County and the Distracted Driver Program. Mr. Gates. Thank you, Mr. DeWitt, members of the board and interim superintendent, uh, Mr. Eats. I would like to ask Greeley Police Chief Jerry Garner, Greeley Police Officer Wade Corliss, and Sue Helfrich to join me, if you would, please. <coughs> As you all know, we collaborate uh, quite heavily with Greeley Police Department uh, in many ways, with our primary partnership being that uh, the school resource officer uh, program in our secondary schools. Uh, there is a there was a collaboration that uh, I felt was worthy of some recognition this evening and uh, really touched my heart and I think it touched the hearts of many of our students. It should come as no surprise to you that distracted driving, either by inattentive driving or texting while driving, are major contributors to tragic accidents in our society. And statistically, one of the highest percentage of distracted driving occurs in the 16 to 21 year old age group. Um, as you may know, um, school administrators and our security personnel spend considerable time in our school parking lots at lunch, uh, checking lunch passes uh, to allow those whose parents have allowed them to leave campus to leave campus and those that have not to not leave campus. And we get a lot of uh, interesting feedback from that. And of course, uh, most of them um, are behaving at that point, driving pretty well because uh, they're under some supervision. But what we are lacking in uh, quite often is the use of seat belts. And uh, my security personnel will tell me that they routinely see drivers at our schools texting. And uh, while it's not abnormal to see not only students but adults texting, um, it's significantly dangerous and I think it's important for us on our watch to do what we can to prevent that. So. Um, we learned of a program that the Greeley Police Department, in collaboration with Drive Smart Well County and Sue Helfrich from Allstate Insurance, provide. It's uh, from a program called Driven, Data Driven Approach to Crime and Traffic, traffic Safety. Uh, uh, Greeley Police Officer Wade Corliss, who I'll introduce in a moment, is assigned as the school resource officer at Greeley Central and worked with the school student council to bring this distracted driving campaign specifically to Central and it will branch out to uh, our other high schools. And on March 5th of this year, all juniors and seniors, and that was done to capture the age of our students that uh, routinely drive to school, were given a very powerful presentation by Officer Corliss in the school auditorium. There was a severely wrecked car, uh, compliments of Drive Safe Well County that was trailered in and displayed outside as a visual, visual image of what distracted driving can result in. A couple of eager Greeley Central staff members dressed up as crash test dummies, Vince and Larry. Perhaps you all have seen Vince and Larry. And the students were subsequently asked to sign a large banner and pledge card as a reminder for them to not text and drive or otherwise drive distracted. What really made the presentation powerful is a 10 minute video uh, that was shown to our students with lots of testimonials relative to the tragic consequences of distracted driving. Um, the auditorium was completely silent, uh, if you can imagine that, with a whole total room full of uh, junior and senior students as the uh, presentation was so powerful. We saw them rushing up to sign the banner, to apply a fingerprint uh, to the banner as a uh, way for them to say, I will no longer text and drive. The banner was available after the presentation, and while the, the specific presentation won't be given right away because we're near the end of school uh, to our students at uh, Jefferson, Greeley West, and Northridge, it's my understanding that they have the banner and there will be some education going in that regard as we get into prom season um, and summertime when our kids are driving uh, much more. In addition to the educational program, the district procured some 12 inch by 18 inch signs that have been erected at the exits of all of our high schools. Um, they are powerful, um, yet succinct, and each student that leaves our parking lot sees that sign. It's just an added reminder, uh, please be safe, don't text and drive. And to tell them that their safety is the utmost important to us. Uh, Sue comes in, uh, Sue's a Greeley agent for Allstate Insurance has been a key member of Drive Smart Well County, 
was instrumental for many years in the uh, safe driving program. Uh, it was called Tailgate the Safety Way that was usually held in the first couple weeks of school in a parking lot of West. She has always provided invaluable assistance to our community in the education of safe driving, specifically to those of uh, younger driving age. With regard to this program, she provided the banner kits for our students to utilize in making their no texting plans. So in addition to uh, Officer Corliss and Dry Smart Well County, um, we certainly like to uh, thank them. And the program that I saw was so valuable. In fact, it was one of the most valuable student safety programs I've seen in my tenure with the district that as such, I am proud to offer up these individuals to you for some board recognition this evening. And I would uh, offer the microphone to any of these individuals who like to say a few words and we just in closing like to thank you for everything you all do to keep our children safe every day. Anybody that would like to and if, if not, <coughs> certainly are obligated. Okay. Uh, I'm Officer Corliss like uh, Mr. Gates uh, introduced me. Um, I'm passionate about this. Um, I think it's really important that we continue our ongoing education for our youth. Um, in your generation, you probably remember the seatbelt campaign. Probably remember the, do you, you know, the uh, strict awareness in regards to, to DUIs and due, due to all that you know we, we've, we've seen a steady decline in fatal accidents due to people not wearing seat belts and I've seen a decline in uh, accidents involving uh, drivers under the influence of alcohol. I guess my thought process on this is the best way we're going to be able to combat the texting and driving is through public awareness if we can continue to, to drive that and I think uh, within the school settings probably the greatest setting that we can start um, where uh, Officer Anderson uh, and myself have spoke further that this may be something we can continue into the elementary level. Uh, if elementary kids are able to tell their mom and dad, don't be texting and driving while I'm in the car. Um, I think it's, it's going to be something that can end up to be tremendous in our work as the, the police department trying to keep people safe within our city. Um, one quick statistic that I would throw out, and this is what I threw out in the presentation, um, five, you know, we've, we've had uh, I think one more fatality accident since then, but five of our last eight uh, before March were all cell phone related fatality accidents. Um, so it goes to show you that it's a, it's a problem that at, at the current time right now is outweighing uh, the alcohol related crashes. So it definitely needs to be a huge priority for the police department. We're going to do what we can to assist the school district. So I appreciate your time and I thank Mr. Gates for the recognition. As a member of Dry Smart Well County for 20 plus years, we have been continually asking people to make good choices. We take it to the schools, we take it to the elementaries, we take it to um, the adults in the area, and we agree that the younger generation have a big impact. Um, who could tell their eight-year-old, no, I'm gonna continue to text and drive? Um, so through that and the community awareness and the team effort between the school district and the law enforcement, be it the Greeley Police or the Will County Sheriff's Department, the first responders, the hospitals. Um, we have a great, great community here that really reaches out to say, we want all of our people to stay safe. It's been a rough year, a really rough year. We all remember not too long ago that we were at the number, number one, I think, at 92 deaths. Um, we definitely don't want to go back to those numbers. So everybody needs to make good choices. Thank you. And my only comment to you as Greeley's police chief would be to say thank you to our superintendent, to our board, to District 6 for the support that you're giving us, to Mr. Gates, as far as our effort to try and make sure that our kids graduate in one piece and don't hurt anyone in the process of getting to graduation. And what you're doing here is helping us accomplish that. So thank you very much to all of you. I think Mr. DeWitt has a small token of our appreciation. If you'd step out in the photo line right here, we'll take care of that. I know, right? <laughs>
Thank you. This uh, next section is the best projects progress update. And uh, Mr. Eads will be getting a, a little more information to us about some projects we have ongoing. This is an action item, so I'll be glad to accept a motion at this time. Regarding the Prairie Heights Middle School Phase One Technology Purchase. I move that the Board of Education of Weld County School District 6 <coughs> approve the purchasing authorization for Troxwell Communications for the purchase, uh, purchase of 46 interactive three LCD projectors and wall mounts as part of the Prairie Heights Middle School Phase One Technology Purchase not to exceed $59,984 as presented. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, Mr. Eads. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I could give you a little more. This is an action item and this, um, these will be good state-of-the-art projectors. Uh, there are a few things happening. Carpet is beginning this week. Another lift of asphalt on Prairie Heights Drive. Uh, excavation of the track will begin this week. Polishing of the concrete floors will begin. The timing on the traffic light has been studied and adjusted. Sure. <laughs> if you happen right. to drive through that part of town. Um, but other than that, this and the next few items are action items related to progress on Prairie Heights Middle School. Questions? Uh, Dr. Richard, please. Just a quick comment that this is funded through the BEST grant. That's correct. This is a BEST grant funded project. Seeing the other comments, roll call, Ms. Brea. Mr. DeWitt. Aye. Mr. Hayfley. Aye. Mr. Hall. Aye. Mr. Lidiak. Aye. Dr. Richard. Aye. Mrs. Solis. Aye. And the motion carries 6 0. Thank you. Mr. Reeds, the next item is the Prairie Heights uh, Middle School Phase 1 Technology Purchase Venture Technologies. <coughs> and again, this is an action item, and I'll be glad to accept a motion at this time. I move that the Board of Education of Weld County School District 6 approve the purchasing authorization for Venture Technologies for network communications installation components as part of the Prairie Heights Middle School Phase 1 technology purchase not to exceed $306,857.28 as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. Mr. Eads, please. Um, just would add that these are for the servers and other uh, critical components for the backbone of the network. And this is a separate vendor. Uh, that's why it's a separate item. It's still part of the phase one technology purchases. So. The comments? Should we assume this is part of the best grant? It is part <laughs> of the best grant. Thank you. Um, and al along with the matching mm -hmm. funds provided by the taxpayers of the community. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Very good. Thanks. Thanks once again. Uh, roll call, Ms. Bria. Mr. DeWitt? Aye. Mr. Hayfley? Aye. Mr. Hall? Aye. Mr. Lidiak? Aye. Dr. Richard? Aye. Mrs. Solis? Aye. And the motion carries 6 0. Thank you. Mr. Reeds, don't go away. We've got some more work to do. Zayo Group, a dedicated internet access for Prairie Heights Middle School and <coughs> Early College Academy. This uh, is another action item. I'll accept a motion to that effect, please. I move that the Board of Education of the Weld County School District 6 approve the purchasing authorization for Zayo Group for dedicated internet access to Prairie Heights Middle School and the Early College Academy not to exceed $105,000 as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. Mr. Um, this is to provide, of course, internet access. We also, because we ordered them from the same vendor who was the low bidder on this project when we did the high speed internet project, um, they're still the low vendor, and uh, part of this order is for that high-speed connection to the Early College Academy, as well as the connection to Prairie Heights Middle School. You can see the price is quite a bit higher for Prairie Heights because the nearest fiber optic mode is quite a distance away, and so the installation uh, is more expensive, but uh, this high-speed internet access only makes sense for a school with state-of-the-art technology in it. Comments or questions? I would like to point out that uh, we are appreciative of the efficiencies that you're always looking for in trying to find these vendors that will right size themselves, but in addition to the, the, the number of projects that are ongoing in the district. So I might add, you. all these purchases are to the low bidder, so we put some pressure so, on them. So. I don't see any other questions or comments. Uh, roll call, Ms. Brea. Mr. DeWitt. Aye. Mr. Hayfley. Aye. Mr. Hall. Aye. Mr. Lidiak? Aye. 
Dr. Richard? Aye. Mrs. Solis? Aye. And the motion carries, 6-0. Thank you. A couple more, Wayne. Um, intergovernmental agreement with the city of Evans. Um, this is uh, a, an action item, and once again, I'd entertain a motion. I move that the Board of Education of Wall County School District 6 approve the intergovernmental agreement with the City of Evans as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. Mr. Eads? Um, I would like to uh, invite Zach Radekai, the Development Director for the City of Evans, to come up just in case you have any questions for him. We've been working on this agreement for quite a number of months, and it does cover some of the operating uh, circumstances for the uh, middle school, including water dedication. Uh, some uh, fee arrangements uh, and uh, those kinds of items. So, uh, if, Zach, I don't know if you have anything you'd like to add or? No, uh, thank you, Wayne, and uh, members of the school board. Zach Rakai, Community Development Manager for the City of Evans. Um, basically, Wayne's covered it. Um, it covered a lot of off-site utility improvements and just kind of working together some fee negotiations with the city. Uh, this was heard by the Evans City Council last Tuesday and uh, passed and approved unanimously. Um, I have three originals in my possession tonight, signed by Mayor John Morris uh, for signature, um, should the board approve it as written. <coughs> Thanks. And I'll take any questions if okay. anyone has any. Great. Mr. Hall? Um, I'd just like to make a quick comment. Um, many times we uh, unwittingly refer to the Greeley School District or or just Weld County District 6 or Weld B6. And many of us uh, have learned to try to make an effort to ensure that we say Greeley Evans District 6. And just on the record and publicly tonight, I want it to be said that you're an integral partner and you're an integral piece and, and the kids in Evans are our kids. It's all District 6 kids. and. Uh, Sometimes in, in haste, we don't speak the complete title out uh, at times, but that's just a, a, an oversight, I assure you, and we try to do our best to avoid that. So, I and thank you. Yeah, I certainly appreciate that, Mr. Holt. It looks like we've been kept apprised of a uh, motion forward by Mr. Reeds all along, and we certainly appreciate you being here. All right, thank um, you. Thank you. Uh, no further discussion. Uh, Ms. Bray, a roll call. Mr. DeWitt? Aye. Mr. Hayfully? Aye. Mr. Hall? Aye. Mr. Lidiak? Aye. Dr. Richard? Aye. Mrs. Solis? Aye. And the motion carries 6 0. Zach, if you don't mind bringing our thanks to your colleagues in the city of Evans, and uh, I look forward to meeting you at the signing table this evening. Sounds great. Great. Thank you very much.